<gasps> Jeez. Good morning, modern steaders. We need to go up to the off grid property today. We're going to start building ourselves a floating dock and a walkway out to the dock. We got the freshly treated lumber the other day. We're going to make sure we grab our barrels. That's not going nowhere. As long as none of that falls off, we'll meet you up at the upper property. Well, we didn't even make it out of the driveway and the uh, barrels had fell over so we had to reposition that but we made it here and we still have all of them So we're going to build a 4 foot wide by 10 foot long catwalk out to an 8 by 8 floating dock. So we have all the pressure treated lumber we're going to need. The good thing right now is pressure treated lumber, prices have come back down. It's cheaper right now to buy pressure treated than it is to buy regular standard lumber. This is half price of the regular lumber which makes no sense. This is yellow pine, yellow pine's more expensive than it's been treated. And the other stuff is just spruce and hemlock that hasn't been treated. So, I don't know. You guys know the answer to that one? Let me know. But we'll get the catwalk made first. We'll get the frame of the catwalk made up. Then we're going to figure out where we want to put our concrete piers to anchor it to. But I'd like to get the frame of this platform made up so we can know how we want this positioned on the pond. sealed up. Wanted to do that before I forgot and we started getting water in the barrel. Seems like it's been a lifetime since we've worked with any wood on the channel. We haven't been doing any building projects so it's nice that lumber prices are coming down and this is just the first of many building projects we'll be doing on the homestead. We've been getting so much rain, I had to put my boots on the boot dryer last night. I'm going to have to do the same thing today. If you have to pee, this is not the place to come and hang out uh, at because that bubbling brook sounds so nice. Well, there's an outhouse right there. There is. 
He just missed it. We had a fish jumping and the camera didn't get it. We need to get these docks built. I'll we'll have a place to fish off of and we'll have a place for more fish to stay undercover. just a mock-up for now so we know where the barrel goes and how wide we need now I'm gonna take this out and I got to put our joists in going this way Go to the next one. Now we got to figure out the angle we want this on the pond. All right, so I got to know, we need to know what angle. You want to go like this, like this, you want it over more, you want to send it over here. And then I can dig some piers in the ground and we can either keep this close up or what's the chance there'll be no rocks? 100%. <laughs> That would be nice. You jump on that and just... Did you buy like a pier thing? Like I got, yeah. Sound tubes? I got sound tubes in the truck. How far do you need to go? It's a sticky one today, that's for sure. The humidity is high. This 
see if it's wide enough. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Heard a rock right away on this one. Could be fishing off this before you know it. Big old log right here. I'll have to just move the hole over six inches so that way we're not digging on that. Try one first? Yeah. Is it poison? Trying to kill me off? Want to? It's got good flavor. Yeah, but there's a bunch of like thorny things down there, so not Unless, the raspberry plant, some other thorny thing. We've been seeing a bear and her two cubs up in this area. Unfortunately, it's not when we have the camera out. I bet you that's one of the reasons why they like this spot. There's raspberries right in the area. Well, it goes all down on that bank and stuff. Yeah, they probably come over here and eat the raspberries. So. I'm going to go ahead and cut my sauna tubes down. My sauna tubes, I'm not going to put down right to the bottom. I'm going to leave them up a little bit so when I'm pouring the concrete, it'll go down and around and it'll act like a footing for them. That'll be perfect. some concrete.
Just a whisker shy. I mixed that batch dry on purpose. That one was really wet and the bottom of this hole had some water in it. So I'm actually gonna mix some more, even drier. Actually, I might just dump some in dry and mix it in the hole a little bit. There's quite a bit of water that came into this hole from the pond. worked out perfect. We were able to use up all the water that was in the hole. We'll let these set up. We'll come back in the morning and get the dock in the water. Gonna need our pallet forks today to get the dock platform out in the water. sure how much rain we got last night but I know we got over a half an inch so everything is pretty muddy again ah, I wish we could share this with everybody out west we have more than weight we need and they don't have enough
Yeah, we've got just a little bit of rain last night. Oh yeah, that's set up really good. I like it. It's not nice and smooth on the top, but that must be from all the rain we got last night. Little gnats are bad today. They're loving all the rain. Perfect. Awesome. I just had to drop it and rack it. Yep. That's all it needed. Give it a little shake. A little shake. Well, it's raining out again now. It never fails. Looks beautiful on the pond. I ended up putting in a couple of nailer boards. I didn't want our plank to go across. That's like 40, 
four inches across with nothing in the middle. So I put some two by sixes lying on its edge. We'll screw into those and then this will make it so the barrel can still fit under here in our recessed pocket. Looking good. That's my deck. Give me a chair. You're finally gonna have a deck. Oh yeah, look at that. Well, the rain's starting to slow down a little bit. It came down pretty good for a little while. Darn rain. Don't want to give up. I think we're going to turn into a rainforest up here. I'm using a poly rope, so this way we don't gotta worry about the water. I'm just gonna burn the end. I wanna put some eye hooks on our header. I have more of these coming for the dock end. They're a different style, but they're not here yet. So I'm gonna just put some eye bolts in and I'll just tie it with rope. And then once the other pieces of hardware show up, we can just replace them. We're gonna tie a rope on so we have something to hold it on to. And we're getting it set in the water. This rain today is one of those rains you don't think you're really getting wet because it's just a drizzle, but it is soaking everything. Floating. So far it seems like it's floating. <gasps> Don't do that. Oh, I don't like know if I like this deck. You don't like that? I don't know. Yeah, we're in line with that rock. <gasps> Why do you do this to me? You didn't warn me. I didn't know you were doing that. So the header that I put in for the dock to connect to looks really high right now. I put that in and I wanted, was thinking I should higher the water level in the pond. And if we leave the dock so it works with the header, we're going to have to. If we leave it the way it is, we'll have to do something different with the header. So right here, I have an outlet for the pond, and it's a standpipe, and I'm thinking about raising it up. I want to see how big of, of a diameter standpipe it is, so we can get a piece of pipe.
So inside diameter is eight inches. I'm thinking if we raise it up, oh, say we could try seven inches, or maybe even a foot, and get the water up at least to this level of the rock. That'll raise over there up quite a bit. And if you look at the pond, we have quite a bit of an area that we can fill this water level up to. So that's gonna be one of the next things I'll have to do is I'll have to grab some pipe and get this water level up. But the dock looks good the way it is. We're gonna have to build our further out piece next. You ready to come out and try it? You go out first and then hold still. It holds still, that's no fun. Hold this still. You can't even move. Do not wiggle. I'm not wiggling. It feels good to have this first dock in. I want to get the water level raised up. I think that dock will sit nicer. And I think the pond is low low enough where I could use it. It'd be nice to have the water up to almost like the top rim. So we're going to probably raise it between 7 inches to a foot, maybe 10 inches. I'll have to wait and see what I can find for uh, fitting to go over that. I don't know exactly what kind of pipe it is. So I have to run out to our local store that has that kind of stuff, see what they have, and get that hooked up in the next video. I'm looking forward to sitting out there, jumping off it for swimming, and doing a little fishing. Looking forward to catching some of those trout that we stocked the pond with. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it, it really helps. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres. Bye.